All right, welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. If you haven't seen the series already, I hope you have, but if you haven't, we've got our doubles monthly matches back. We've got Nolan's King of Hakey series out. Today, what I've been most looking forward to, the start of my solo series, leveling up. Let's get into it. Little introduction to the series today. A few months ago, I asked the local Tulsa Disc Golf Group what they thought were 12 courses rated from easiest to most difficult. And uh, we're starting here today. Uh, we're at Bear, it's a par 54. The way I came up with the series is we're looking at PDGA ratings and basing off of current tournaments that have happened out here. We're trying to shoot for about 20 rating points higher than my current rating is right now. So I'm 937 rated. The goal is to shoot about 955, 960 rated, which is about 10 down. So that's what we're going for. Conditions are cold and uh, slight breeze. So it shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm unable to shoot 10 down. Nolan actually gets to take a disc out of my bag that he feels is hurting my game. Uh, that way we're not sabotaging our doubles monthly matches, but it also gives me a little bit of incentive to hit the mark. Starting off hole one, it's gonna be 206 feet, plays right out there in the trees. Uh, pretty much just a little baby hyzer with a putter. Should get you there. No. Starting off strong. You love to see it. These things just have to come off permanently. I uh, just gonna have to risk having my hands get cold. I don't know what it is. I can't play with gloves. That's it. All right, that's just fine. We can make that. You've seen the doubles monthly match, you know. All right, started with the three on the first one, not ideal, but here we are, hole two. I was mistaken. This is the 206 foot hole. Hole one was 222 feet, got in my head. So, see if we can get this one close. I like that. Finish. Okay, that looks good. Hopefully I don't screw that up somehow. I have nobody to be mad at but myself. I don't even know how that happened. I don't know how it happened. After that atrocious putt on two, I had decided that I want to come to hole nine, switch things up a little bit. Actually, it's just super busy out here. Chandler's one of those courses here locally that just has like this huge crowd that always comes out. It's a lot of fun, actually. Most of the guys out here are really cool, uh, but it's a beginner family friendly course. So usually, usually you have some people out here. So we're going to skip around a little bit. Holes are going to be kind of out of order. Uh, so we're going to go nine and onward and we might skip again. We'll have to wait and see because I don't know who else is out there ahead of us. Uh, but we're going to play from here and then we'll continue on. Hole nine, 176 feet right there. Jacob, are we second guessing ourselves? No. Okay, if I miss that one like hole two, I don't know what to say anymore. Same distance as hole two. All right, good birdie on the last one. Hole 10, 249 feet. Only danger is those two trees. You got to either go around, through, you know, wherever you want to go. And then there is an OB path behind, so don't go too far. Oh, geez. I got on top of that one. Well, I don't know what's happening to me right now. That's fine. Let's tap in. All right, here's the deal. This is where I think I'm messing up. I'm trying to play this to beat 10 down and I'm playing scared. So what I need to do is just focus on playing the best disc golf I can play and see what happens. All right, this one's 198 feet, par three right out there across the path. Pretty much just a hyzer with a uh, zone. So that's what I'm doing. Come on in. Hit the tree, you should have like a 15 footer. All right, hole 12, 265 feet. Right out up there by the road that plays OB just behind it. So again, don't want to go along. Not much danger, just gonna go down the middle. It is an elevated basket, so we obviously like to be close on this one. I love that. Get down. Dude, that could be just what I needed. Woo! 
Woo, tap ins. Yeah, needed that one. All right, hole 15, 236 feet, par three right there. Gotta get across the path. I usually like to take the forehand hyzer with a stable driver and uh, give it a little ace run. Eat it. Get a roll to the basket. Oh yeah. I love it, I love it. All right, hole 16, 210 foot, another hyzer putter shot out there to the basket. Get ourselves close for hopefully another birdie. You know, that didn't hurt it at all. Trees, okay lo trees love to help out here at Chandler. Tree definitely didn't hurt me at all. Pretty much a tap in. If you had missed that, we would have been flashing straight back to hole two. All right, so this is our hole nine, technically hole 17, 191 feet, plays right there past the road, a couple different lines. I'm gonna take the hyzer uh, along, or along the right-hand side and try to play a skip into the green. Healthy skip. Yeah. I was wide, but it did what I wanted it to do. Do I do it, bag on? Oh, Jacob. Jacob's flirting with disaster. Yeah, that's what I thought. Honestly, I probably would have missed if I put it with the bag on. So. 191 foot par three, right out there at the end of the stretch of this little path. Uh, road beyond all around it, OB, so don't want to go OB. I don't know what I want to do. Noah, what do you think? Well, I think the, the forehand's the comfort play yeah. with something stable like your fireball. Okay. As long as you fireball keep it wide fire. enough, you don't have to flirt with OB right or deep. Fireball, 191 feet, let's do it. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but it is uphill. And Jacob does this fireball really well. So as long as he can get it around Don't the trees on the left, he'll be good. Putting that pressure on me, bro. No pressure. Yup. Get off it. If you had skipped that in, I would I, have asked you to pay been, me for coaching. That would have been inspiring, to say the least. <laughs> we love that. I had to have scared some chains, but... We love when Nolan's game plan works out. All right, real quick before we get into hole three, which is our hole 11 for today's video, I do want to thank everyone that has subscribed so far. We're sitting right at 399 as we film this video. We're still pushing for 500 by the end of the month. It's super awesome if you'd consider liking and subscribing the videos. It does help us push this content further and will allow us to do so much more in the near future. All right, but with that, let's get back to the video. I can throw a backhand here. The problem with the backhand is all that crap on the right. You like need something that like flips up and like pushes straight. Whereas with like a flex forehand, I'm okay with not getting this one. Okay, so like flex forehand, I can at least trust it should get around the corner and like worst case I'm taking a ball. Left is better than right on this hole, I believe, so I like the play. Okay. As long as your hands are up to the forehand. I just know in the cold I cannot throw forehands. I'm actually like my hands are actually kinda warm. Okay, um, you're you're throw back to me throwing the gloves off hole one. It literally just messes with me. Like at a certain point. I would yeah. just rather not play than play with gloves. I actually might have a putt over there. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm okay with the par. Nolan was correct. There's actually a window over here, so we're gonna see if we can at least give us a birdie. This Speaking from speed. experience, guys, I've been there. Bonus birdie. This isn't a must get, but it would be nice to at least keep it close. That was an incredible putt. All right, hole four, hole 12, 130 feet. Plays right out there, it's a hyzer uh, forehand. You got it, or you can throw, honestly, you can throw dire directly at it and you're gonna give yourself a putt, but we're kind of sitting in a good spot, so I wanna ace run a little bit. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's sawed off. That might be in the most awkward spot ever for a putt. Got a little knee putt for Jacob. This is the best I got. We just gotta keep it close. Can't get too crazy with it. That's okay. Where's the confidence level at? We got five holes left, we need two strokes. Confidence is, I'd say, about an eight out of 10. Just okay. like my score, so. Even uh, with three, four tricky wooded holes left? Honestly, I'm not even worried about those. We just gotta get one of them and get one of the uh, open holes out there. We're clearing this course. Okay. We can move on to the next I one. I think surviving this hole is crucial. 
for sure. Uh, because this one can be really tough. Hole five, our hole 13 today. 260 feet, just pretty much dog leg left. It's not too bad, but usually you want to play with like an overstable putting approach or a mid. So, I'm going to go mutant. That's so good. That's so good. Oh. Oh, baby. That's so good. I was concerned. There was zero things to be concerned about. Hole six, our hole 14, 262 feet, plays up there. This is uh, one you want to have a disc turn to the right, so backhand for me. Um, if I get this one, great. If not, no worries. That's so fine. That's so good. Jacob, you're chilling. Should be a good putt. Big putt for the Prodigy Mini. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. That is going come after and a half. Okay. That was a massive comebacker. That could have been it. That could have been could've over. Been the game. That could have been the game. All right, a whole seven, or a whole 15. I need two of the next four to close this video out and move on to the next course. 100 feet, if that. I don't, I don't know. It's not very far. You just says 174. Somebody's, That's a joke. Somebody's smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go up the middle. See what happens. Jacob, that tree on the right does not exist. Get out of the way. Oh, it's so long. That's fine though. That's a putt. There's rocks back there. It'll stop. We have a putt. We just got to make one. You know what? We're going to try no mini gang and see what happens. Oh, uh, this could be the biggest regret of his life. Oh, you no better mini, hug no, that basket. No mini gang. Hug it. Hug no the basket. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad I did Hakey when it was warm, aren't you? And here we are doing your series when it's freaking 23 degrees outside. <laughs> it's not just that it's 23 degrees, it's humid. Like people have to realize that like, yeah, okay. Oh, 23 degrees and it's like negative 50 up north. But dude, it's wet. It's a wet cold. It sucked. We, we're also not from the north, so our bodies are not used to 23 degrees for seven straight days. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's different. Uh, it's terrible. 176 feet, par three. Basically just throw a baby hyzer and if you hit the right gap, you're gonna get up and down for a birdie. You pretty much funnel to the basket the whole way. That's fine. Oh, what the roll. It's okay, Jacob. It's all good. It's all good. We're gonna make a putt, right? I think I'm gonna cry. No roll. Sound of commitment. Hey, we're good. We take that. Good result. Good par. Like, as much as I want to blame the roll away on the last hole, like, let me just replay hole two real quick. That was incredible, like, in how bad it was. So, I mean, if I want to be mad at anything, if I don't get this, it's, it's that putt on hole two. That's going to haunt me while I'm editing if I don't get this, so. We gotta, we're gonna move on. We're gonna focus up. We need one of the last two, Jacob. We're gonna get both of them, right? Yeah, we wanna get both. I wanna get that 11 so that I can know that, no doubt. All right, hole 13, our hole 17. 265 feet, but it probably plays closer to 285 because it's slightly uphill. Best line I've found is a forehand on the left side. Get a little skip in, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Come out. Well, it's all gonna come down to 18, which. Or we make a putt. Just trying to get it under the basket and give ourselves a chance on the last hole. We're just doing it now. Oh. Hole 14. It all comes down to this. This is our hole 18. 190 feet downhill. Probably plays closer to 160. I put it close and don't have to putt, that's ideal. Um, but we'll see what happens. We just gotta give it a look. We can't try to park it. We just gotta hit the gap and let it fall to the basket. 
Jacob's going soft zone here. Hopefully it hits and sticks. Oh no. We gotta kick off a tree and to the right. This is gonna be the biggest, the biggest part of his life. My heart hurts right now. Oh, my no. hands hurt. I mean, we're keeping it real for you guys. Like, I have like literally next to nothing to move on to the next course next month. Unless I just absolutely drain a forehand at it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Game over. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. I was an atrocious round, but you know what's not atrocious? This drip. I'm out here looking like Joel Freeman. Cheese it socks. All right. Unfortunately, Chandler Bear has bested me. So, like a good content creator. I have to let Nolan take something out of my bag that he thinks is hurting my game. And then we'll be back out here next month. So, when we get behind the camera, we're gonna let Nolan do his thing. We can blame this round on our putting, mostly, but I'm not gonna take his putters out of the bag. So what I am gonna do is instead of taking the entire mold, Jacob, I'm gonna take one disc. And this one hurts me because I really like when you throw this disc, but it, was just, it wasn't it today. You know, I don't disagree. And uh, we're gonna remove it. We're gonna leave his other zone in the bag. We're gonna take his soft zone. Um, he doesn't know how to trust this thing on hyzer, and for that reason, it's being removed. So, hopefully, this benefits Jacob. All right. I think the best thing to do in this case is to uh, to prevent myself from ever feeling like grabbing this thing again. We're gonna just give it one of these. And now I'll be forever reminded that this disc is banned and I can't use it anymore. And for that reason. <laughs> somebody else can have it. I won't even be tempted. But that's all I got. We'll be back out here next month and for our doubles multi matches and all that good stuff. So until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.